Today we will be working on a 2007 Escalade with approximately 160,000 miles on it and it's got a really bad serpentine chirp and this is what it sounds like. As you can tell, it has a very annoying chirp sound, and we were going to try to figure out why. Okay, the first thing we're going to check is pulley alignment with a straight edge. And first I'm going to put the straight edge across the crankshaft and the power steering. And it looks completely even. Crankshaft to tensioner looks dead on. Crankshaft, I'm going to use the crankshaft pulley and the power steering pulley to line up the alternator. The alternator is just a hair off. You can see it's not all the way out. The idler pulley looks completely even. The water pump pulley, there's a very big spread where it can ride, so it's even. Um, I'm looking at these bushings here, and it almost looks like if I tighten these bolts up more, it might pull the alternator this way and solve the pulley alignment issue. Uh, so we're gonna try that first Okay, uh, once again, I just want to show the gap in the pulley alignment I'm going to use the crankshaft pulley and a power steering pulley and this straight edge to line this up now You can see there's a slight gap the alternator needs to come forward just slightly I'd say a couple millimeters Now I noticed These bushings if I crank these bolts in, it might pull the alternator forward. So I'm going to spray a little PB on there. Try not to get it on the belt. We'll work these bolts in and out. Crank it. Crank it. Each. And you want to put even amount of turns on both bolts so you don't make the alternator go cat cattywampus. Let's check the alignment again. You can still see a small little gap. I'm gonna crank them in even more. Check with the straight edge. Looks about the same. Pause it. Okay, that last attempt was a complete fail. Here's the bushings. As you see, they'll kind of come in and out. And the reason why this alternator was misaligned is these bushings were too far this way. So I just took this little stubby hammer, some PB blaster. Now the bushings are all the way against the uh, bracket on the engine. So now the alternator will sit further up and all the belts will be aligned. Okay, so you notice now these bushings are sticking out. The steel bushings are sticking out this way towards the bolt instead of this way. It pulled the alternator forward, and we should have, now we have 
I had the straight edge against the crankshaft pulley all the way through it. We now have correct alignment with the alternator pulley. So we will see if that made any difference whatsoever. Okay, here we go. So we just drove it around the block. Uh, problem solved. It's not chirping anymore. It still sounds a little noisy. Uh, you could go ahead and do the tensioner in the belt because of the misalignment. The belt might already have damage to it. So if you want to be extra careful, just change like uh, this is a real common part to go bad, the spring tensioner right here. Um, but you don't have to. Problem solved. Good deal.